Hello everyone. Our today's topic is light and shadow. We will be learning about what shadow is and why do shadows form etc. Have you ever observed that when you go in the sun a dark area similar to your own shape appears on the ground and walks with you have you ever played the game of shadows with your siblings or friends using a torch at night have you seen dark shapes of birds on the ground when they fly in the sky in the morning this is all about light and shadow what is a shadow when light is thrown on an object whether from the sun or from man made things like a bulb or a torch a dark patch often forms on the side of that object that dark patch is known as shadow you may have noticed that when you are walking under the sun your shadow walks with you Do you ever wonder why shadows are formed? You know, light brighten things up. If there was no light, we will not be able to see anything. When light hits an object from one side, it brightens it up. at the same a dark patch forms on the ground or wall on the other side of the object that patch of darkness forms because the object blocks the path of light and stops it from reaching that area so the area becomes dark For instance, when you are standing in front of a wall at night and a friend of yours throws light on you from a torch, a shadow will appear on the wall, which is the area the light of the torch could not reach. It is important to note that to create a shadow we need to have a light source shadows cannot be formed in darkness do you know shadows are always dark because they are made from the absence of light no matter what color you are wearing your shadow will always be dark the position of the light decides the length and direction of the shadow it makes when the light hits an object from the top the shadow becomes very small or even disappears but when it is hit from a side it appears bigger and forms on the opposite side of the light source the object is in the middle the light source is on its one side and the shadow is on the other side for instance 
if you observe when you go outside in the morning when the sun is in the east your shadow on the ground is the longest and forms on the west side but as the sun goes high up in the sky and shines above your head your shadow becomes very small and is hardly visible and in the evening when the sun comes back down to set in the west your shadow becomes longer again and is formed on the east side this happens because when the sun is above your head its light hits most parts of the ground and very little part of you blocks its path so the shadow is short but when it is on one side of your body your body block bigger part of light from reaching the ground we hope now you have learned about light and shadows if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher